Uh, I'm sure you've broken down turnovers and all that, and if you had the answer, it would be fixed and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what, what tweaks can be made, whether it's lineups, personnel, other things to maybe improve some of those situations? Man, I, <laughs> if, you know, I, right. if we had the answer right now, you know, right. we probably wouldn't be in this rut. Um, you know, it's we've played really well at home. We haven't been good on the road, right. and so you know, thankfully for us, this game tomorrow is is on the is at home, um, and then we've got to figure out how to do something different on the road. Maybe just to be locked in a little bit. You looked at like compare this year to last year and. Last year we were really good on the road. We had three seniors and we're kind of replacing right. them with three freshmen right. um, in the lineup. And just so it just hasn't translated very well for us. Um, like I said, for us, it's we're at home tomorrow. We've played fairly well. We've competed well. We've got a little bit more confidence at home, um, understand who we play. But at the same time, like we've been different and hopefully we can build off that. But you can't take that for granted, though, can you? Oh, no, not never. Um, like I, I don't think that we do. I, I understand. We understand who we play. Um, Understand that you know Ohio State's really, really good. Uh, they're gonna press. Uh, we're gonna turn it over. Uh, it's just a matter like we gotta make shots. Um, very similar to, to what we did last year against them. Like we made a lot of shots. Uh, we turned the ball over a lot in the first quarter. Um, turned a lot of ball over in the game, but we just made shots, and that's what we have to do tomorrow to give ourselves a chance. You no, know, Rashonda and Mary Ashley, they, they've gotten a lot of minutes this year. Yeah. But are they reaching a point there are more minutes than what they played in high school? And how do you? How do you manage that, and how, how have they kind of uh, held up under those yeah, heavy minutes? I think, you know, I think both of them have played a lot of basketball throughout their career. I don't know that it's minutes. I think it's just who we're playing against. Um, you know, it's it, playing in the Big Ten on the road especially, or at home against Iowa, against Indiana, against Ohio State. It's a little different than, you know, playing in South Bend, Washington, or playing in, at Dalton High School. Like, those kids have adjusted. They give us everything they have. Um, it's on us to, to continue continue to work and, and get better the best we can. Um, nobody's given up on our season. Right. Um, you know, we come in, we, we fight every day to get better. We work really hard to, to get better. Um, it just hasn't translated to wins or some some ugly losses on the road um, for us. But our head is down. We're working, um, and we're going to do our best to t try to get out of this. But you haven't seen, like, any wear and tear with no. them, and they, they're they still in pretty good shape, not just physically, but mentally to yeah, I think Chaz, get through the rest of the year. Yeah, Chaz has done a really good job of making sure their bodies are healthy, um, whether it was getting stronger in the offseason and then maintaining strength right now. Um, and then for us, like, you know, we've got a, the catapult system that we work in. We can manage, you know, player loads and making sure um, we still have a good, you know, what, six weeks left or whatever it is um, to get us through the season at, in, in the best physical shape we can be. Um, how would you describe the way you guys are playing now compared to say like a month ago or two? Uh, I don't I mean we're, we're losing so like I you know I don't know that there's an answer for that like yeah. we're, we're losing um, I, you know I, I we're so when, when, when we make shots we're good like we played against Indiana we played good we played against Iowa we were good we were not good at Michigan State we were not good, to, good at Penn State so uh, we were not good at Maryland, so it's been on the road where we haven't been good. Like, we played well against Iowa here. I was number two in the country. We played well. Um, we took Indiana down to the wire. We played well. So it's just been on the road um, where we just haven't been good. Um, so you, you mentioned the, um, the catapult uh, mm -hmm. thing. Um, how, how, is that, how has that helped you guys this, this year? Yeah, so that little thing that they wear yeah. on their back, right, it just manages player loads. Um, so, like, you know, like, really, you know, like, who's – Who's working hard? You know, whose heart is racing? How many how many miles you've covered? All that stuff. Um, it's been really good for Amaya to to as she's you know translated back into to practice with us. It was really good for Sophie, you know, managing like when we felt comfortable putting her on the floors when she was hitting the same kind of numbers that everybody else was hitting. Um, you know, like yesterday we had a pretty intense practice. It wasn't very long practice, but we had a pretty intense practice, and so the load wasn't heavy on their legs, but the intensity was, was high. And so you just you just kind of measure that and try to simulate practices the day before a game that, that a game looks like. You try to match the mirror those numbers. Um, you know, we didn't necessarily have a, a, a day off um, Thursday. We we didn't, we didn't get out Wednesday night uh, because of the fog, so we didn't fly home till Thursday. So um, trying to use those numbers to making sure we're, we're healthy and as fresh, ready to go tomorrow at 2 o'clock as we can. Uh, what, what have you seen from Ohio State? and? Uh, I know they've been they've been good here yeah. here recently and starting fives 
up there with probably Indiana and Iowa as far as the top in the Big Ten. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously they're coming off a huge win. Um, they beat Iowa, uh, obviously at home. Um, didn't play as well at Illinois, but I think Illinois' guards kind of handled it. Like, they turned the ball over 22 times, but just um, handled it pretty well. Um, you know, whether you're looking at McMahon or Theory, just elite athletes who are different than anybody in our league. Um, J.C. Sheldon, maybe one of my favorite players in the league, just – uh, she's just so good, um, always makes tough plays. Um, you had Celeste Taylor from, from Duke, someone defensively who just gets after it. Um, you know, big girl stretches and shoots her. They got a, they got a big post off the bench, uh, the Michigan State Transfer Parks, who comes in and dominates inside. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those games we're going to have to be perfect to, to have a chance to win. We're going to have to make some shots. Um, understand we're going to have some, some tough moments of turning the basketball over, but we've got to be able to play through that stuff and uh, try to limit live ball turnovers as much as we can. Um, the, everybody turns the ball over against these guys, and we just got to make sure our, our turnovers aren't our bad turnovers. And they come at you. They never hard. stop. They never stop. <laughs> never stop. And if they smell blood, I mean, well, we had them down 17 or 18 in the third quarter, and the yeah. next thing you know, you blinked, and it was a tie game. And... Um, you know, so uh, just just uh, I, I think they're gonna let you go on runs. You, you know, you're gonna get open shots. You gotta have confidence to knock them down, um, and then you just gotta withstand whatever wave and um, the press that, that that they continually bring at you for 40 minutes. You got a lot of freshmen on your team. Um, that, that's just a lot of girls who are coming from a high school career where they were probably state champions mm -hmm. or something close to that. Um, so, what's that like to have such a high, you know? rate of that on your roster and is it a is it kind of different thing for you to manage no i don't think so um i, I think that yeah, i think we've got good young women on our ball club um i think you know they a lot of our kids have won um you know they won in state they were in high school uh, madison won in high school Jalen won in high school you know jt abby caitlin they they were on the team last year that went to the to the ncaa tournament um you know, on a team that, that upset some people. So we've got some kids that are, are not gonna to back down to, to tough moments. They're gonna keep fighting. Um, they believe in what we're telling them. It doesn't always translate to, to really good basketball on the court, but um, for the most part, like this group is just locked in and, and trying to get better every day.